Schlatter and I'm on the Michigan Wine Trail. Today we're at Silverleaf Vineyard and Winery. We're here with Mark Carlson. He's the proprietor and he's the winemaker and you'll often find him here behind the counter as well. So today we have a lovely Pinot Noir yes. in our glass that we're tasting and talking about. We're exploring the relationship between art because I'm a painter and winemaking, which is also an art in and of itself. So tell us a little bit about the art of making this Pinot Miller. Um, it's all art on my uh, side of the, the coin here and, uh, and, and a little bit of science. Uh, for some people it's more science than art, but uh, for me it's much more art. Um, starts in the vineyard uh, with fruit and you have to have great fruit to make great wine. So uh, we spend a lot of time in the vineyard uh, with the right plants, all fresh vinifera, and uh, we prune righteously and uh, take care of the plants and hand harvest, and um, we bring everything inside and uh, do a cold soak maceration with our Pinot Noir, and um, we treat this uh, very carefully with kid gloves and uh, use a couple of different yeasts in the fermentation process, and we age in French oak, and um, we try to make the best product we possibly can. So all that science in winemaking is kind of like my palette of colors mm -hmm. over here, isn't it? And you end up with an end result, it's a painting or a bottle of wine, but it's exactly. art nonetheless. And I wrote a little poem um, a while back, and one of my favorite lines was from the ground to the vine, the vine to the grape, the grape to the glass. And that's kind of what you're talking about, this love of the land and nurturing that fruit. And Very much so. You have to be a little more patient than me. You have to wait a whole season. <laughs> Yeah, but it's lovely. exciting. Every year is different, and uh, we make improvements every year. So it shows. Thank you very much.